And so today I saw one that spoke to or touched on a nerve related to a topic that I talk a lot about on this channel. And I really want to nail this point home. If you're a veteran, if you're a newbie, if you've been on this journey for, you know, you're in the inter intermediate stage, it is important that you understand that this is an at-risk hairstyle and to mitigate loss, there are very active actions that you have to take. That is not to say that you cannot successfully wear sister locks. Everybody's hair is different. Everyone's needs are different. But I can promise you, if you do not mitigate some of the high-risk rituals that are associated with this style, you will find yourself in a pool of tears dealing with catastrophic hair loss somewhere down the line. Do you have dark spots from skin irritation? How about unsightly marks from acne that's lasted way too long? Fade Magic can help you find your way back to radiance over time. Don't delay, order yours today. All of my beautiful butterflies and perfect people, you are with Tunisia Ali. This is gonna be a very short video. Um, I'm gonna keep it under seven or eight minutes. Something has come to my attention that is of grave concern to me today. You all know that I do this channel. I do my absolute best to give you the best information that I can based not only on just my experiences, but also based on the experiences of those of you who write into the comment section, uh, for those of you who send me information via email or through text, there may be testimonials, it may be um, outcries for advice or anything like that. You may be purchasing the Magical Hair Growth Serum or the Premium Hair Care Blend from the I Am Melanin Magic site. But I've learned a lot in the last almost five years of this channel. And I've also sought to intervene not only in my own hair care journey, but also in yours based on the commentary and the reflections that you give me based on your own experience from the channel. And so I, I do my best to respond to comments even when I may not be able to actually respond uh, literally and at the moment that you write the comment, I want you to know that I do take a look at them and I'm very grateful for them. And so today I saw one that spoke to or touched on a nerve related to a topic that I talk a lot about on this channel. And I really want to nail this point home. If you're a veteran, if you're a newbie, if you've been on this journey for, you know, you're in the inter intermediate stage. It is important that you understand that this is an at-risk hairstyle and to mitigate loss, there are very active actions that you have to take. That is not to say that you cannot successfully wear sister locks. Everybody's hair is different. Everyone's needs are different. But I can promise you, if you do not mitigate some of the high-risk rituals that are associated with this style, you will find yourself in a pool of tears dealing with catastrophic hair loss somewhere down the line that has to do with a culmination of you not being informed, your lactician um, not taking uh, or intervening on your behalf with regard to hair care concerns when they come up. And oftentimes ignorance between the two of you, you just simply don't know. And I'm here to help you to understand that the retightenings, the word retightening means to make something tighter. That in and of itself, the energy and the vibration of that term retightening does not bring ease and relaxation. It brings tension and constrict, constriction and contraction. And what that does to your hair is create hair trauma. Okay, you must guard against that when you go in to get these retightenings. And there are things that you can do to guard against that. And I talk about that on this channel, and I'll continue to talk about it. It's not a loss. It's not a total wash. But if you don't become informed and you don't take the necessary steps that you need to take to mitigate hair loss, it's coming. It's coming to a theater near you, I promise. And it's not, it's not going to be if, it's going to be when. My area of gravest concern after having, had, after having had these locks for 13 years and when I started with the locks, the average retightening was between seven, eight, nine weeks, sometimes six to eight weeks. Okay, I can take that. I can swallow that. I can stomach that. 
And then I started hearing four to six weeks and major red flags went up. I'm not happy with the six or seven week mark because for 13 years, my retightenings were between 10 and 12 weeks. And for the last few years, they were always between 11 and 12 weeks. And you see my hair. Okay, you see, it looks beautiful since I got knotted locks. But if you go back and take a look at my older videos, I was working overtime to maintain the health of my hair and to try and circumvent or circumnavigate all of the, for sure, what was going to be my hair trauma if I did not try and find loopholes and find ways to cope with the retightenings because I could see what was happening to you all's hair. Hence, I transitioned to knotted locks. Thank you, Miss Blakes. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for leading me to something that is more aligned with my way of thinking and my need to live freely and creatively and in my feminine. Because not at lots is truly a feminine transition for me. Um, that's a whole nother topic. But now I'm hearing two weeks. I have a sister here who said that she has fine low density hair and it's retightened every two weeks and I wanted to think that she meant she was touching it up every two weeks okay if she was touching it up that's a bit alarming every two weeks but at least she's doing it um, she can be more tender she can take necessary precautions but let me tell you that hair has needs and to continually restrict and pull and strain the hair every two weeks three weeks four weeks or five weeks is a major, major, major problem. It is going to lead to something that is not going to put a smile on your face. Whoever is advising you that because you have fine thinning hair or fine low density hair that you need to be getting a retightening every two weeks, that person, that person, I don't even want to go down that road. I don't know who that person is, but I can tell you it's not the person that you need to be listening to. It's not the person that you need to be taking your advice from. And this is a very serious thing that is too often. It is too stressful for the hair. The hair has a growth cycle that that level of frequency is most certainly going to impede. That is going to bring about long-term consequences that indeed are going to be catastrophic to your hair growth cycle or going to make your follicles fearless, fearful instead of fearless. And it's just going to lead to the overall long-term thinning and possibly permanent hair loss for your hair. It's definitely not something you want to do. If your hair is low density and you think that that's the reason why you need to be getting it retightened that often, then that actual remedy, that so-called remedy is going to have the opposite effect long term. If in fact you are feeling that that is the reason why you need to have it retightened that often, you need to just shift on over to knotted locks because knotted locks is going to help you to preserve long term your hair is going to increase the volume. It's going to give you an overall look of more thickness and it's going to aid in your hair growth long term. Retightening every two weeks is a surefire way to create more uh, traction alopecia, to traumatize your scalp, to minimize the ability of your follicles to rebound. And it's a very unsafe condition for your locks. Please do consider ceasing that. I can promise you there are areas of my hair that are low density and they were right up in this area, which is the main reason why this area, specific areas right around in here was where I decided to take over my own retightenings, period. But I can promise you, even in doing that, I was never retightening every two weeks because my hair cannot withstand that. And I can promise you, yours cannot and neither can anyone else's. Please reconsider getting retightenings every two weeks. And please, please get a second or third opinion or start looking at what causes long-term hair loss and begin to do some, some, some serious research into other alternatives for maintaining your locks that will not require that you get your retightenings at that frequency. You are with Tanisha Ali of Tanisha's Locks of Beauty Tips and Potpourri, and I am sincerely hoping that whoever this message needs to get to, that it gets to you and that you stop.
That is a major red flag, and I'm so concerned. I'm so concerned. I've heard four weeks, and that was shocking. Four-week retightenings at over $300, but I've never heard two-week retightenings. I've never heard that. The hair can be treated much more tenderly, and there are other options that you have besides further traumatizing. You are with me again. I hope that you all are gaining clarity, uplifting your mindsets, hearing and clear, clearing energetic blockages so that you can manifest your greatness. If you want to join me in doing that over on my Butterfly Transformations channel, I invite you to. And if you have not purchased my Manifesting Your Masterpiece book, you can get that as well on Amazon. Loving you, appreciating you, all of you who are my sacred soulmates, some of you who are just OGs here on the channel. Then there are others of you who show up in the comments, who give me feedback, who let me know how the videos are changing your life. I appreciate all of you. Some of you are just ships passing in the night. Thank you for your time as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and for sure, leave some commentary in the comment section and let me know uh, what it is you'd like to see on the channel and how you are benefiting from the value that is being provided therein. Love you guys. Welcome to Tunisia's Locks, Beauty Tips, and Potpourri, the channel where we get it all in. You can also learn more about the I Am Melanin Magic brand. Thank you for stopping by. I want to take a few moments to share with you some of the successes that the I Am Melanin Magic hair brand is having. Jimmy here, along with his father, had been dealing with hair loss presenting as bald patches and thinning throughout his hair for over 10 years. He decided, by way of his girlfriend, to give I Am Melanin Magic a try. With consistent use of the I Am Melanin Magic Magical Hair Growth Serum, using it five days a week for eight weeks. These are the results that he was able to get. If you I are not using Melanin Magic, melanin magic hair oil, so are then you. what are you using? Hi, I'm the creator of the I Am Melanin Magic skin and hair care brand. The I Am Melanin Magic hair oil is our premier product. It is the leading high-end supplement for your mane. It reduces breakage and promotes growth and can be used on all hair types and looks from straightened hair and micro locks to wigs and protective styles. It's antifungal, antibacterial, and it's antifung. So you know you're protected. It softens and conditions your hair and it's anti-frizz too. Hey guys, so I started using this oil called I Am Melanin Magic since February of this year and check out the new growth. Like, it's insane. Not only did it help with my new growth, but it smells amazing too. See the dramatic improvements Denisha has made after not having hair around her edges for three years. Tanya's hair had been like this for almost 20 years and while getting injections. Her doctor said it was scarred and would never grow back. After four weeks of using I Am Melanin Magic, this is what she looked like. I Am Melanin Magic did this to Danette's hair after a short time. This is really all your hair needs. It's rich with antioxidants, loaded with growth promoting ingredients. Look at the growth of my hair. It's amazing, the product speaks for itself. Order yours today and don't delay. Don't delay, purchase yours today. I am Melanin Magic and so are you.